check it out. FedEx brought us some goodies. So as you guys know, we're going to be pulling the engine apart on that car. In order to keep everything organized, I ordered two more shells like the one that we just got not too long ago. We've got one of them over there, which is pretty much devoted to just uh, Miata parts. So we've got one of them over here, which is devoted to pretty much just race truck stuff. And uh, we ordered two more to be able to stack all of the, uh, the Mustang stuff on. So we're going to get those set up here in just a second. But check it out. We got some parts for the giveaway car. As you guys know, we are giving away this Miata and it's actually gonna be in a commercial today that we're trying to film. If you guys missed the last one, we'll play it real quick for you. See this guy right here? He's a typical car thief. And right now he's trying to cop himself a new whip. I mean, I don't know why he's going through all that. <laughs> I left it unlocked for him. Ah, yes. Our guy found the keys. Very nice. It's like a great value Sherlock Holmes or something like that. Oh, yeah. Not so easy there, killer. Bet you weren't expecting that one. There you go. And now he sees it. It's a good thing this car is not an auto or else we'd be halfway to Kentucky by now. But honestly, we're not going anywhere. That's right, folks. I'm stuck here with my new best friend because this car is, unfortunately for him, equipped with a five-speed fun box. And this is just one of many reasons why manuals are so great. Do yourself a favor, stop into our shop, grab one of these six shirts. You might even have a chance to win little beef here. And yeah, you might be asking yourself, does it have a fun box of its own? Of course it does. Click the link. I'm honestly amazed at how many people have like said that they love the little commercial skits that we've been doing. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. We're going to be trying to do at least like one every week or so. Um, maybe once every two weeks if we get backed up or anything like that. But we're going to be doing some pretty funny stuff for them. It's, it's a lot of fun. I, I don't know why, but these little skits have been like the most fun thing that we've filmed in a really long time. For this one today, we actually shaved Daniel's head completely bald, like with a razor. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Daniel, I am certified to get haircuts. Oh, it's so cold. Jesus Christ, that feels really short. <laughs> Nick, did you take off the, the guard? Nah, I did it on purpose. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> I just want you to know from the bottom of my heart. Like, uh, no bullshit, I am actually really sorry. My mom really liked my long hair. I'm gonna insert a That's picture hard. of me with long hair. Enjoy that long hair. So you're not gonna see that long hair anytime soon. <laughs> This is a reverse mohawk. It looks like a traffic pile. <laughs> and he's going to be dressing up as a monk. So by the time you guys probably see this video, you will have already seen the ad. So this is going to be like kind of the behind the scenes stuff for it. So hopefully you guys enjoy. This box is from D&D Performance Interior. Check it out. This is our new beautiful steering wheel hub for the Miata. Now this one should fit or else I will probably lose my mind. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's set the hardware there out of the way. Let's grab this and uh, let's test fit it. And it does. That is what I am talking about. D&D, you have officially saved the day. Thank you so much. And now also, as you guys know, since we are taking out the factory steering wheel that normally belongs in this car, you get that nasty little airbag light flashing in your face constantly because you've officially removed the steering wheel airbags so we went ahead and ordered this thing right here and basically all this does is you plug it into the harness for the airbag which is right here and also covered in grease and whenever you do that and that now we have officially bypassed the uh the airbag so let me tuck all this up in there i'm gonna keep this little box i don't know why but i like this little box it's a nice little box so now we've got our, oh look, this hub actually came with the bolts to attach the wheel to the hub. Now we've got, a, there it is. We've got our center nut in here to put on to hold the hub in place. We've got the hub centered. Now let's try it out with our wheel and see that it's gonna be lined up. Uh, let me take it out and try to move it one more notch over. Right about there maybe, perfect. I'd say that's about good. Now I've just got to tighten up these six screws right here to attach it to the hub and then we will be done. You know what? Basically what this is, is it's called a style bar. But if you notice, I can literally wiggle this thing by hand. It is not any kind of purposeful roll bar. And honestly, if you get in a rollover accident, this is going to be more dangerous than even not having it here. It's basically just another piece of shrapnel. It's hollow tubing. This is just, it's trash, honestly. I just, I don't want it on here. <laughs> Not only that, but it restricts the amount of movement that the stock seats have because this thing is back here. I mean, if this wasn't here, you can get another probably four inches of legroom. Look at this. This thing is like 
four pounds. Now the seat belts will work properly too. Much better. Let's set the impact and everything back up and I'm gonna show you guys what this new steering wheel looks like. Without a doubt, I know that this new wheel looks much better than the torn up stock one that came in the car. It's got the It's Just a Six banner there, the Six logo, their banner, the style works, and then um, it's got their little logo right here, which is pretty cool. Definitely think this car is coming along. It looks really, really good. Now that the Miata is pretty much wrapped up, I think we're almost done with the build on this car. We've got a few more things that I really, really want to do before we get rid of it. Uh, I do want to put an exhaust on it and maybe some seats. I don't know. I, I think the tan leather is pretty cool because not many Miatas come with leather seats but I really do like the way that aftermarket seats look in these cars, so I don't know. I'd like to get an ISR exhaust for it if I can, but I don't know what the wait time is on that stuff. As a lot of you probably know, but for those that are new here, you can go to www.itsjustasix.com slash shop, and every $20 spent gets you one entry towards getting this car right here. It's pretty cool. Um, we're trying to do like a save the manuals movement. This is actually one of the shirts, and later on in this video, you'll be able to see one of our new designs because we've got to pick it up for the commercial that we're going to be shooting today with the car. Um, so... Yeah, we got this shelf unit set up and we got another one set up over there. We are all here getting ready to go start shooting a yeah, little promo video, but check it out. We got all of the Mustang parts up on this shelf. And uh, once we start disassembling the engine, we're gonna have plenty of place to put all that we need on here. So that is gonna be really handy. So we are out here at this <laughs> deserted location. We've got beef here. Basically the goal is, is I've got to uh, kind of get in this cul-de-sac and do a, a, little, a little drifty boy and yell, or you could get yourself a manual. Isn't that my script? Yeah. 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 Get yourself a manual. Or just get yourself a manual. Okay. So I'm going to yell that at Jake's camera as I'm drifting around him. And then we've got the drone up. And uh, we're going to get a bunch of good footage of that. Let's do this thing. 10 4. 10 11. Or 10 single shot. Shotgun. You can just get yourself a manual. There you go. You better? Yeah, that's better. You could just get yourself a manual. You could just get yourself a manual. I just feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't put the drone that close to the car. <laughs> Did you get good, good footage of it? Yeah, there's one part where I'm gonna have to cut back to you uh, steering or shifting. Okay, so you're gonna get in the car and take it off the Ronin, I'm assuming. Do some handheld stuff inside. How'd the drone footage turn out? Boy, you got close on that third whip. No, I had to back that. Almost hit the drone? <laughs> yeah, because I had it low. It was, like a good, good, it was a good whip, though. It was a good whip. I'm sorry. Is it okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The third one is really the money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Swinging. It gets, it gets straight. Here it comes. I'm like, oh, shit. Where'd he go? Oh, Damn. yeah! yeah. <laughs> that is great. Give me some. That was good. That looked cool. Bruh, it got so close to the drone. <laughs> the footage is literally like... <laughs> That's great. Dude, look at the Miata. Looking clean. Oh, my gosh. That angle, though. Ooh, ooh. So now we've got to do another skid. It's going to be Jake different. in the car. It's not going to feel the same. Yeah, it's, it's going to feel way different. Jake's a big old giant. Could you tell there was a little bit of different? Well, yeah, it's already grabbing harder on this side. That's yeah. why I was having trouble getting it swinging. This AC feels so good. Oh, no wait. Miatas that I've ever seen have working AC. This one does. If you want to have a jam. <laughs> it's also got an acorn. Does it? Yep. In there? Left. Yep, oh, right okay. there. I'll get needle nose pliers in a second. No, nah, you just got squirrels, fam. We should just start plugging the merch with like every, every 10 seconds. 
if you would like a chance to have AC in your Miata. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, like that shirt's dope. Where'd you get it? <laughs> that was actually a lot of fun. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's going on? Oh, nothing much. Man, I don't know anything about social media. I just be taking a stab at it. Yeah. <laughs> man, my, man, my Instagram thing is just blowing up. My phone is going crazy. <laughs> well, that's good, man. I'm glad. Yes, sir. What you doing tomorrow night? Mm, I was going to try to get in a bracket race up here at Extreme, but what's going on? Let's say if I were to be going to get some beadlocks from your friend uh, Third Degree and might stop yeah. in and go hang out with you, what would you think? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would obviously you know about the the Mustang so I can't really take the car out there the motor's sitting on the ground yeah, right yeah, now but yeah, yeah no no that's no problem but you know when I, I go to the drag strip I go live I, I'm planning on being a bracket race yeah that's so fine be bracket races so you can check me out watch the bracket race with and we'll hang out have a have a have a good time and go eat and just chill yeah that was the goal I was just gonna come and support you and uh, we were uh, gonna premiere that video Saturday so I was hoping to be over there with you and I was thinking if we premiere the video we can sit we can get together and watch it together. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, what time you plan on getting in? Uh, we're gonna leave probably tomorrow morning. I've got some stuff to film tonight for our music video that we got coming out for that song you like <laughs> And uh, so we're gonna be filming that tonight and we'll probably leave tomorrow morning So we'll be there around probably lunchtime tomorrow. Okay, sounds good brother. Hey, we will definitely stay in touch Hey, do I need to follow these people? On, uh, <laughs> no, man. man. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how that, how that works. No, you don't have to. It's just if you know somebody you can follow them I only follow six people on mine. So I mean it's really oh, up to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can no, follow no, whoever no, you want no, to, but. The buttons and people are like, oh, even long as he followed me. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, no, you don't have to follow anybody that you don't know if you don't want to. Okay. They just follow you to All keep right. up with your stuff on Instagram, but you don't have to follow them back if you don't want to. All right, sounds good, brother. Hey, man, I really appreciate it. Hey, you got another song that, uh, that I want to use. Man, it's, man, it's badass. I don't know the name of it, but, uh, man, we listen to it. Man, my key has been jamming to it. You know, my, my wife even walking around here singing. And, you know, she's, she's Lily White. It's Lily White. So I got <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's, yeah. I mean, like, she was singing one time. I'm in love with a... Uh, uh, with the Coco, she didn't know he was talking about making crack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, you know, so anyway. All right, brother, sounds good. Take All right, man. All right. All right, peace. All right, bye. That's funny. So Demonology, he's uh, Demonology is kind of an older guy, but he is great. But uh, he's not too, I would say, like social media savvy. So he doesn't really understand too much how Instagram works and stuff. So it's kind of funny. He said his Instagram was blowing up. He didn't know if he was supposed to be following these people back or not. And uh, he said he's been following some people back and they've been freaking out and all kinds of stuff. So he's a really good guy, though. I really like him a lot. We're going to be heading over there to Dallas, hopefully tomorrow, to pick up some new wheels for the Mustang. Um, we're probably going to go hang out with him at the track and stuff like that. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It's going to be a blast but give me just a second we got the Miata back I've got the fan on it cooling it down because it did get a little bit hot it's like 103 degrees outside or something crazy so anyways uh, we're gonna go pick up the radiator for the bike because it did come in and uh, we're gonna get started changing that radiator out before we go shoot our music video tonight unfortunately I can't show you guys any of the footage for the music video yet until the 27th of this month so July 27th 2019 we're gonna be premiering it on the it's just six channel and also on the trace channel so if you guys don't know about that second channel that I have click up above and check it out but uh, at the outro of this video we're gonna actually play what we just recorded so you guys can see the finished product and everything there was some stuff this morning that i actually didn't even get to film behind the scenes of where they had some stuff with daniel and everything so anyways guys thank you so much for watching and uh, i'll see you guys next video some say peace is found within the truth is peace is found all around us To find your peace, you must be one with your surroundings. You must respect and connect. It takes dedication, years of training, and patience. To find my peace, I have chosen to isolate myself in the woods. But this is not the only way. The masters have whispered of another way. You can just get yourself a manual. I just feel so good. Go to it's just 6com slash shop. Go check out our new designs.
pick up some merch, get in and win this car right here.